Hello, I'm Raj, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'll show you how to troubleshoot 403 access denied errors when you use an Amazon Simple Storage Service website endpoint as the origin for Amazon CloudFront. Let's get started. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the CloudFront console. Choose your CloudFront distribution. Choose the origin tab. Review the domain name on the origin domain and path. If the S3 origin domain has website in its name, it's a website endpoint. The bucket format uses the pattern bucket name s 3 websiteregionamazonawscom Note that when you review the origin settings, you can see that the protocol for an S3 website endpoint always defaults to HTTP because S3 website endpoints can only talk over HTTP and not HTTPS. This means that we can't use OAC, Origin Access Control, or OAI, Origin Access Identity, with S3 website bucket endpoints as origin with CloudFront. Now, let's go through these steps to verify that the following requirements are met to prevent 403 access denied errors for the S3 website endpoint. Navigate to the S3 console to make sure that the bucket and the objects are publicly accessible. Confirm that Amazon S3 block public access is turned off for the account and the bucket. Review the bucket policy to confirm that it grants get public read access for objects and it doesn't contain a deny statement that affects the get object action. If the bucket policy grants public read access, confirm that the AWS account that owns the bucket also owns the object. That is, the object owner's account must match the bucket owner's account. Confirm that the object you requested does exist in the bucket. Otherwise, you will see an error status code 403 instead of status code 404. This is because if the object requested doesn't exist in the bucket, and because the S3 bucket policy doesn't have S3 list action in the bucket policy, S3 returns an HTTP status code 403 instead of 404. Make sure that there are no objects in the S3 bucket that are AWS key management service enabled. Navigate to the object's encryption settings and make sure that the options use bucket settings for default encryption or override bucket settings for default encryption do not point to any AWS KMS key encryption on the bucket. If you use an HTTP refer header to restrict access from CloudFront to your S3 origin, check the secret value or token set on the S3 bucket policy. Confirm that the secret value or token matches the value on the CloudFront origin custom header. Navigate to the AWS Organizations console. Confirm that there is no explicit denied service control policies SCPs like this attached to your organization's management account. Service control policies or SCPs are organization policies that you use to manage permissions in your organization. This means that you must make sure that there is no deny policy for S3 get object action attached to the organizational root, to the organizational unit, that is OU, or directly to your AWS account. So now you know how to resolve 403 access denied errors when you use a S3 website endpoint with CloudFront. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.